So I'm going to add an enrichment section before we move on. Um, now this sometimes I, I like having a more advanced version for some of the students who can kind of move out along a little quicker and that way they can go dig deeper often. Uh, those tend to be the students who uh, like to go all the way to college and or university in this and so I like to give them extra things to uh, work on. So this is an example of that. So in the previous example we only brought in one animation. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to bring in several animations which we can also use to make a video with several animations. With the average students, I probably would not do this, just to not lose them, I guess. Uh, so what we're gonna do is go to Mixamo, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a pack. Now, I already found the one I want, it's called Gesture Pack, and I already downloaded it, and it comes with, uh, it's zipped, you'll have to unzip it. But if you just type packs, there's all kinds of packs, okay? Like the one, the reason, Gesture packs is good is because it's often like what you would see in a conversation. I'll just show you if we click on these. Um, you know, it's all kinds of like talking, um, waving. And so if you're trying to have an, a conversation type of uh, animation, this is an excellent place to go. So I'm going to download it. And as you can see, I already did that. And um, I'm going to just go and show you. I put this in my folder with, with everything else. So here they all are. Now I'm going to go to my Unreal Engine in my folder and I'm going to create a new folder called uh, Gestures. Okay. okay, so I bring in other kind of attack things. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to import these. Um, go get all the ones that you need. All of them matter pretty much. Click all and import them. Now, this is where it's very important. You need to select the skeleton from the uh, character you've already. So, you have to upload one character, upload the skeleton, then use that skeleton for all the others. So, I'm going to click here, import, and for each character, it's going to ask me which skeleton. Always use the thinking. Okay, so it's kind of a workaround does the trick so all of them will be mapped to that skeleton so giving you the option to have access to several animations okay I'll just keep importing these they're now now all uploaded so I'm going to save all as you can see you can see the stars and then it's not saved now one thing you can do one thing that you can do is go in and see the animations one by one so you see that's a very short one while there's others that are going to be a little more and that's the link down here okay that gives you an idea that while you're planning your story um, you can look at the times and maybe plan those with a head shake there's just a bunch of them here you know it'd be important to see it there's a nod so if you're going to try to build a conversation and add uh, a voiceover now i do know how to do lips and all that fancy stuff but it takes another software and for now we're just gonna not include that uh, but if you stick with these series eventually I'll, I'll get to that and uh, show you now um, software is not free for teachers but you can get half price I'll talk about it later it's called iClone 7 uh, but very powerful and uh, not hard to use uh, although I'm not an expert at all but uh, I'll show you uh, when we get there eventually so there you go. So just keep going. Now, one thing you could do, so we already added our animation. If you recall, it was, uh, oh, I, I switched it. Well, anyway, I want to show you how you can switch it then. So how do you select anything in your world out, in your actual uh, environment? Click on it. And if you look over here, you'll see this is the animation and it's mapped to the skeleton. So let's pretend I don't like that uh, let's put the thinking one back okay now press play now so now I see the thinking okay so let's just leave it at that but what I'm trying to say is you could change it to another animation there's a few that are quite a lot longer than that one so again if you click through all these you'll figure that out um, so that's an enrichment technique I'll also make an enrichment video to show you how to cycle through the videos just keep an eye on the playlist and I'm trying to keep it between the basic and some advanced techniques. Okay, if you have any questions, 
please let me know.